Hi everyone, my name is Matt Hansberger. I'm the president here at Royal LePage Atlantic. I'm coming to you today from my home, which for many of you has been uh, also become your office over the last eight weeks, uh, just like it has for me. I've had a lot of questions about the real estate industry and what's going on in the real estate industry and how it's handling the coronavirus pandemic that's happened over the last eight weeks to all of us. And so I wanted to just take a moment and highlight the top five questions that I've had asked of me. I think it's really important to answer those so that you know how you can interact with our industry. First uh, important question is, is the industry still operating? And the answer is absolutely yes. Uh, we've had over the course of the last eight weeks into our sales meetings, uh, inspectors, lawyers, mortgage people, uh, and of course all of our agents to talk about how we can handle business in a new way uh, that is really obviously placing the health concerns of the community first, and then also the needs of our clients uh, right alongside of that. So, you know, understanding how we can do business in a safe way has been an adjustment for us, but we've made those adjustments. I guess that leads into the second question, which is really how much business is happening out there? Really interesting to see how our industry has sort of handled this. And we dropped down to almost as little as about 30% of what we would normally expect this time of year at one point. But as restrictions have eased in both provinces that we operate in, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, we've started to see an uptick in the business again. And recovery is happening uh, fairly well now. Our agents are taking all the precautions they need to and we're seeing more business start to happen again. Kind of leads to those third and fourth questions, which are, is it safe to actually list my home right now? And the answer is yes. Again, we've taken a lot of precautions to make sure that what we're doing in service of you and listing your home is done with safety and health as a first priority. So the old realtor toolkit when they came to list your home would be a measuring tape, a camera, a book, that kind of thing. And the listing toolkit has really changed over the last eight weeks. It starts now with a pair of gloves, a face mask, and a bottle of wipes so that we can make sure that everything that we're doing as we're interacting with you in your home is done in a safe way. Listing your home now has probably one extra form that you're gonna to have to get to know, which is a disclosure form about you know, health that you have. Uh, and we're gonna ask that of any buyers who come in to look at your home as well. Probably more important than anything, however, is the way in which buyers are looking at your home has changed. And at Royal LePage Atlantic, we've believed this was gonna happen anyway. We've really been pushing on having great video, great photos, and great other online services to help market your home for a few years now. A couple of the key ones that we use all the time are called Matterport and iGuide, both of which are designed to give people the ability to kind of walk through your home virtually from their computer. And that's been so key for us over the last eight weeks because buyers are shopping in a different way. Buyers are now learning more about the homes that they're potentially going to look at in effort to narrow down, to avoid having to go into 10 or 11 homes. They're now trying to go to one or two. And so we really need to focus uh, a lot of attention on why your home should be one of those one or two that they come look at. We're able to not only uh, you know, have people come into your home, uh, but have people come into your home in a safe way as well. We're asking them to put gloves on, put masks on. We're asking them to let us know that they have been healthy over the last uh, 14 days. We're able to really uh, group the times in which people can come into your home so that we can do a deep clean on the home after it. And I think that's been an important thing as well, is, is just us taking into consideration our way of working to ensure that your home remains a place that's healthy and safe for you, even though you're listing and selling it. So on the flip side, the question has been, what about working with buyers? If I want to go buy a home, can I still do so safely as well? And the answer to that is yes again. We've thought a lot about what we can do to protect you. The first thing is, of course, just try and narrow down the number of homes that you're in and out of to make sure that you don't have as much exposure to you know, community transmission as, as uh, you may have if you had to go through 10 or 11 homes, like I say. We're working with you 
to narrow down to that one or two that you really think are the home that are the ones for you and your family before we actually go out and look at homes together. When we do actually go look at homes, we're doing all of the things that we should be doing to protect you by having you wear the gloves, having you put on a mask, making sure that we as agents are the ones who are touching anything in the home. So we're opening the door. Uh, we're gonna wipe down everything as we go along here. And of course, we're following those social distancing measures and practicing all of the things that we should be doing, like coughing into our, hand, our, our elbows, washing our hands, those kinds of things, to make sure that we're there in a safe and healthy way for you. You know, really important, I think, is the last question, which is what's forever changed in the industry and what will probably be the same when we get back to a more normal operating environment? Well, one of the things that I think's forever changed is that I think buyers have discovered they like looking at homes in a virtual capacity. They like doing some of the narrowing down without going out and seeing all the homes that they're probably not going to be interested in. They like having uh, the ability to go in and basically virtually walk around a home without uh, having to leave their living room. But what's probably going to go back to the same as it always has been, and even more so now, is that because of that, buyers are looking for an agent who give, can give them great advice on everything surrounding the transaction. So I can go look at that home and do a virtual walkthrough, but I probably can't get to know what the neighborhood is like. I probably can't get to know, uh, you know what the commute times are like without asking an agent and getting great advice from them. The agents are providing advice on how to protect themselves, uh, uh, how to protect their clients as they go through homes, as well as themselves. And they're providing great advice around the negotiation and the process of buying a home, which has changed uh, during all of this stuff. So finally, I really hope that you, if you're interested in buying or selling a home right now, you reach out to one of our agents. They've really taken a lot of precautions and a lot of measures to figure out how they can help you best navigate this process right now while doing so safely and still making sure that it's an enjoyable experience for you and your family. Thanks very much and have a great day.